this, like that could cause other problems. I want to ask you a question. I never thought I would ever ask anyone in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Is it scientifically possible to increase the length of a penis? So scientifically, uh, yes, there are ways that have been studied um, and there are surgical and non-surgical ways, but I think there's a lot of like myths around this, right? So like if you take supplements, it's not going to increase the length of your penis. If you, um, you know, do things like jelking, those things can be very harmful, which are kind of manually trying to increase the length. Um, so you have to do it thoughtfully if you really, you know, and I think ultimately the more important thing is what's the average size of a penis, right? It's about five inches, a little over five inches. So um, you know, if you have an average size penis or along the, the bell curve, you know, that's great. You don't need to increase the length of your penis. And in fact, there's much more, you know, I think there's many more ways to pleasure a woman than using your penis, right? Because for a woman, the clitoris is analogous to the glands and that's in heterosexual relationships, of course. Um, but, you know, I think that uh, that that's really important for people to focus in on like the penis is not the sole delivery of pleasure. And then as far as things that are available, traction devices have been shown to show um, some increase in length, but it requires kind of a dedicated several hours a day of traction and um, you know, it can cause bruising and other things. And the surgical options, there's no um, FDA approved or like indication unless you have micropenis to actually go forward with any of these surger surgeries. And then there are things that people market that are not really um, cleared yet, like certain types of injectables are, are, are definitely not cleared yet. And some could be harmful, right? Like there are people who go to Mexico and try to inject things in their penis and they come back and it's a real problem. Um, and they end up with like deformed formed penises. So I would say, you know, I think that really, I don't want to focus on, um, like these things are there. Certainly they're indicated, you know, in general for, for, um, micro penis, there is one that has been FDA approved for lengthening called Panuma, a Panuma implant. Um, and then, like I said, there's traction devices. I think that if you're really interested, it's important to see people who offer those things and, and talk about it, the risks and benefits, because everything has risks and benefits and, and to what end, right? Um, I think we as a society focus way too much on penile length and we should be focusing on pleasure, right? Like how do we get pleasure for, for both partners in a relationship? Hearing what you just said there, it sounds like perhaps there's treatments out there that may, may not be effective it kind of sounds a little bit mixed if that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, exactly. I think that really like I, a lot of guys say, well, women get breast implants. Why can't we have things for our penis? And I agree. Like I wish there were safe, effective options, you know, um, but I think a lot of people who want to increase penile length to the point where they're willing to go there have some body dysmorphia and probably need to like, they may not even be happy after they go ahead with the procedure to lengthen their penis. Right. Um, so I think those are things to really consider. Like, are you, are you just really fixated on this thing? And will you truly be happy after, after you, if you were to go forward with something that's experimental that may or may not help? 